One. Please do not do that. By one. We'll be the laughing stock of the United States. Over 100 people spoke at the podium to give their say during public comment on council's extensive agenda. One of the main items up for debate, council member Leslie Poole's item 126 to turn single family lots into more affordable, smaller homes. I am just so against 126. Some Austinites who spoke against the item question the impact this will have on the city. You're talking about blank slates. You're talking about taking our history, the history of this city, and, and erasing it. You put six houses on what used to be one lot, now two. Where's that all going to go? We're going to end up with more sewer issues, let alone the impacts to our power. However, many supported the item, saying everyone should have a chance to live in Austin. You should not have to choose between staying in the city and having a family. I don't want Austin to become San Francisco. I don't want Austin to become a city for the rich while leaving everybody else out to dry. They added homes like townhomes, row homes, triplexes, and fourplexes will be more affordable options, but others couldn't agree. There are not enough townhomes, cottage homes, and condos for those who are just starting out. And these are often beautiful buildings. I get it. But if you look up and you Google a row home in the Mueller, it's $700,000. That's not affordability. You just can Google that. Another hot button issue, agenda item 111. Many were against the idea of creating an emergency homeless shelter in a city owned facility for a year, saying it's a rush project that will not help the homeless issue at all. I'm gonna call the marshalling yard what I feel it is. It's a displacement project. It's just meant to keep people out of the eyes. It's the keep Austin Pretty Initiative. Mayor Watson, I heard you recently speak that you are committed to solving homelessness, um, but I'm a concern that one of what your focus seems to be is more on cleaning it up. Public speakers say a more permanent solution is needed, not a temporary one. I actually think it's trashier for us to be investing in these Band-Aid solutions on this gaping wound of homelessness. We're not addressing the root pro problem.